right, guys, here comes a new tutorial with me, B Kong, and you, AJ. I'm gonna build a custom box, new design, gut that out. This for B, this is going to the bottom. This is a uh, 24 inch, okay, test it, working. And uh, here it is, picked it up, Facebook Market, here it is. Asus, HDMI and everything, all the goodies components right here, ready to roll. I'll be back, I'm gonna gut this everything out, and uh, hopefully uh, it will be a good success. Super easy. Unscrew all the screws first, the back box, right? I missed this part right here. Just unscrew it. I like to keep the protective film on there because I, I might use this in the future project. So everything's gutted out, right? All that, see that? I left the ED, EDB cable right there. All right, now what we're gonna do is, I hate to show you guys this, but we had to destroy it, okay? All right, what we do is get a rubber hammer. What you do, you bang it out. That's it. All right, now you take a razor, you cut this piece out because it's the artwork right here that sticks together. Okay, that's it, All right? Next up, we bang uh, this side out. See, that's coming out already. All right, that's coming out. All right, that's coming out. Gotta get a good leverage in order to do this. You get what I'm saying? One side out. What we do? We take a razor again. It's a piece of artwork that sticks together. It's one whole, one, one whole piece. I like to keep this for future projects. You never know, right? Thing on this side. Carefully, you don't want to smash everything up. Looks like it's coming out. There it is. Now, <coughs> get that out of the way. I don't want to scratch, scratch the artwork. I might use them in the future. Bang this out. Uh, okay, it's gonna come out. Now, where's the hammer at? This one's literally glued down. Okay. Now that's done. Try to get as much as you can. Just a little more piece. Just a little screw here, here and there. Everything flat out as possible. Try to flatten everything else possible. Okay. We get a little plier. Hold on a second. This is a newer model. I did the wave eight. We have a little screw here for the EDB cable. Let's unscrew it out. Slowly take it out. Well, I'm gonna stop the video, it's taking too long. All right, everything's taken out. All the screws, everything. I taped the EDD cable up here. I move it up, I use the original black tape that they provide, put it up here, so, cause I'm gonna cut it. Cause I'm gonna cut it. I wanna make sure I, I don't cut this. So we gotta be careful, okay? Tape it up. So, what now I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut this straight across. Straight down here and straight down here leave a little tiny gap you know like right there see that all right i'm gonna use this machine i'll show you i'm gonna use this 
I'm gonna cut it, it's smooth. It doesn't shake, so not recommend using a jake saw. If you're gonna use a jake saw, right? Don't cut it too close. You might damage the, um, the internal sc screen. So if you're gonna use a jigsaw, cut it far away. Cause I'm gonna use that machine. I'm gonna cut it close right here and I'm just gonna sand it down. I'm gonna cut it this, I'm gonna cut this way first. I'm gonna cut this way. Cause I like to keep the, um, the at game logo. I can use it as some kind of marquee for future project, right? Okay, now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show you a little video of cutting it a little bit, okay? Be right back. All right, I'm gonna show you a quick one. So, I'm gonna cut it here. All sides. So, I'm just gonna eyeball it because I know with that, make sure the ED cable is not nearby. Very important. As you can see, this thing is literally glued down. You do not want to gut it out because you'll break the internal screen, okay? So I'll show you the easiest method. I did not I'm not gonna show the other video, it's too dangerous. It's not recommended. So I made a new one. So I'm gonna cut the rest, this side and this side, and I'll be back, okay? I'm gonna show the rest of the video. You gotta get the picture. All right, check it out. Huh? I might not gut it out, so you know. Maybe sand it, strain it up, you know, perfect. Put it on. That's it. We'll see. It all depends. Okay, success. What I did is I take a sharp razor. I slice the glue out. You slice it out. Now it's loose. Okay, carefully. You don't want to go internal. All right, I'll do the rest of the all four corner. I slice it out. All right, guys. It is done. Done. The second one is better than the first one. The first one is very difficult. I prefer this way. This is the safest. Not crack your monitor. This, this is very thin. I mean, thin. Like, super thin. Okay? This is the best how thin that is. So thin that monitor is. It's very thin. You can't get it out because it's it's glued down. You don't want to you don't want to pressure it because you you're gonna crack it. Guarantee. It's fragile. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, it is success. I just test it, working. Always test before you start doing the rest. So I do a straight line, try and even it out. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, <clears throat> I have to do a little adjustment. I like, I want it more angle. So it's eight inch on top, six inch on bottom, 25 and a half inch long, all right, to fit it all. All right, boys, check it out. This one looks awesome. There's so much sun, you can't see Jack. Put this on the ground. Look how angle that looks. See that? Now I'm gonna sand it down. May look nice. Okay? Okay, you guys know the drill. I just take the one I just made, right? Duplicate it, trace it out. Easy. See this part? Forget that. Cut it. No problem. All right, this is done. This is for Nick Cruz, AKA UAG. Okay, on top is um, eight inch wide. The bottom is six inch wide. So all you gotta do is strain it down. Okay, that's how that's how the shape comes out. I'll be back. I'll duplicate the second piece. Okay, now to determine to the perfect angle, 
The bottom needs to be straight. So what I did is, I measured six inch. Make sure it's six inch because, because the back is straight, the front is angle. So if you go by the angle, the monitor is gonna tilt. As you can see, I go six inch, six inch, all the way six inch. See that? It's just all the way down for the monitor size. All right, guys, check it out. Not bad. Look at this. Oh my God, it looks good. It looks clean. It is. Now that's it. Time to duplicate the, this one. All right, I'll be back. It looks nice. Wow. It is clean. Look at this. I make it round. See? So that way it won't, won't get injured. See? Very nice. Nice round. All right. Time for the second one. Okay, you guys know the drill. I just take the one I just made. Right? Duplicate it. Trace it out. Easy. See this part? Forget that. Cut it. No problem. Okay. Look at this. Let's go in here just to, for the measurements. Look at that. Lots of room. Roomy. We have about an inch on the top. About two inch on the bottom. Maybe an inch and a half. Not bad. Duplicate it. Alright, boys. Check it out. It is looking beautiful. Look at this. Oh my god. God, looks clean like a mother you, you get to die for. Okay, up next, I'm gonna determine how wide it's gonna be for a roof of speakers. Okay, I'll be back with the measurements. The the wide. Okay, so far it's deep. It's pretty deep. Enough room. I measure it. Enough room for the back. Maybe we'll add a fan. Who knows, right? Yeah, there's enough room right there. Gap, enough, plenty of room. So, I measure. I measure from right here, from the monitor. This is the monitor. This is DMD. About two inch gap. Free. It's about an inch and a half right here. More enough room. Okay? I'm going to duplicate the other one. All right, guys. Next up. This is the bottom base. What I'm going to do is... I'm gonna line it up center as possible. Trace the, this and drill a hole straight through for the mount with easy. Just like you get out of the box, put it on top of the head. Boom. Use this original screw, you're good to go. I'll be back and do measurements. All right, I measure by centimeter, six centimeter, and three line. I don't know how would you call that. Like three dot, just to show you. I order, if I measure this way, it's kind of hard. It's like two quarter. See that? Two quarter, almost two inch and three quarter or seven eighths. But I measure centimeters. It's six and a half. Six and a half and three. I don't even see that. But same thing over there. I do a circle. Uh, I trace this out. I found my perfect size. I don't know what size this is. But I eyeball. It fits. I'm going to screw it down. I'm going to drill it. All right, I'll be back easy simple ain't that hard all right it is all done now i'm gonna use a router route this out and let's put it on to the test i'll be back here it is it's a ryobi it's what i use i route it down nice and slow so as you guys see i'll be back i don't need to record no video you know just do it check it out boys what do you guys think not bad there's the uh Duplicate. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, well. It's upside down. Let's put it upside down. There it is. You see if it matches. Look at that. Identical. The hole is identical. All right, I'm going to go inside. Test it out. So hopefully it fits perfectly. There it is. There is the bottom base. The back box is going to be here. See that? Identical. Perfect size. Perfect smoothness. Right here. Perfect. 
Nice. I'll be back. Up next, dowel hole, screw hole. Make sure you screw in at least half an inch deep. Reason why is you can go half an inch deep, your wood's gonna split once the screw in. So you gotta screw them the center half an inch deep. The dowel, same thing, half an inch deep. Okay? All right, so I'm gonna measure from right here and then I move it over, measure there, and then I ball center them on both sides. That's gonna be my mount. Custom, custom mount, no L bracket needed. See this? So, we're gonna go that deep, dowel, dowel, screw. Screw here, so dowel, dowel, screw. So dowel, dowel. All right, I'm gonna start drilling. All right, same thing, L, bottom. Here's the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing both sides, left and right. I'll mark it and drill it. All right, it is all done. I'm using the one up L. This one up. What I did is, okay, check this out. See this? Right? And then I move it over, right? And then I center them from the top, not from the bottom, from the top. As you guys can see what I mean, you know what I mean from here. As, as I eyeball it, make sure it's even. See that? Two sides even. That's how I get my center. Because this two right here in the side, it's about a quarter inch gap, quarter inch gap, I got my center. See this? All right, same with the other side. It's all done. There's my mount. All right, top piece next. The top. Top head. One inch lower to sit. Right here. There's, a, there's like an eardrop. I call it eardrop. So this is the bottom base. That's where it's gonna sit down. Okay. This is the bottom base right here. All right. And now I'm gonna do the top, the top mount. I'm gonna do some holes. I'll be back. Okay. Check this out, guys. What I did is I took this half MDF as a measurement. I put it on top. See that? And I drew a line. It came that much so you have to leave a top head a bit of gap so i'm gonna determine i want to measure whatever is a straight line here is i'm gonna draw a line and i'll build a, a top top head um mount i'll be back here it is i marked the line so basically my measurement just give me an inch right here almost seven inch and three quarter right there so seven inch three quarter wide i mean length now for the wide is 26 inch so so we all know it's 26 inch no matter what the wide so this is the length almost eight inch so i, I marked it here i'll cut it right now it is the top cover the top piece it's time to cut it out all right, let's see if it matches, all right? I'm gonna lift this up. Check it out, boys. All right. Look at that. Right on the dot. It's hard to record one hand and the other hand to line it up. As you can see, see that? Look at that. On point, see that? Right here also. On the dot dot see that easy now i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna use a bigger one i'll be back i'll show you what i'm gonna do the hole now i'm gonna create a this is a marquee see that one up i'm gonna use this right so dowel screw i'll move it over here right dowel and screw Extra secure. I'll be back. All right, now here's a hole. I'll make the gap, the little screw hole gap. Okay, on all of it. I'll be back with this one. That's how deep you go for the screws going flush. Okay. Okay, check it out. See how clean that looks. See that? I sand it with the sander, ultra thin, the smooth sand. Sand it down, smoothing it up, make it flush. All right, next is the dowel. All done. 
Okay, okay this, is, this is done. All right, what I did is, I previewed the hole, this is the top piece, the top head. I traced this, now I'm gonna align it. I'm gonna drill the hole, the dowel, the screws. I'll be back and see you. I'll tell you, I'll show you what I mean, okay? All right, I marked the hole, the dowel. As you can see, this belongs to left. I, L right here, right, let's go to the other side. See, L, see I marked it L. Now, I'm gonna drill it. All right, I'll be right back. All right, here's my dowel. I got it off Amazon, exact size as uh, of the rest, as one up. So, I eyeball it, it's about that deep, right? I'm gonna sand it down a little bit, smooth it out, and split, assemble this. That's it, I did all the dowels and, uh, and all of it, okay? I used a, a nipper, little nipper, just cut it out, that's it. Okay, here's my measurements. How deep you want the dowel to go? So you want to go over there, you gotta leave it like about that much room. So that's how deep it's gonna dot my dowel's gonna go, okay? So eyeballing it. Or you can use the one up, just stick it in and measure it and just tighten it up. I don't know what this is called, but uh, they have it at a Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon, anywhere. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I put my dowel. Where's my other dowel, okay? I bought this dowel on Amazon. I'll post the link on the video description. When the tutorial is done, I just cut it. I, I cut it in, put it in, I snap it. I use the same one-up style. How deep is it? Then I do the measurements. I just drill the little dowel hole right here. The little dowel hole. All right. All right, I'm gonna, let's put this on and see how it looks like, okay? I put this on the top, you see it's top. It's gotta go this way, you didn't see. It gotta go this way. So this is the top, no. It is this way, all right? Let's put it in and I'll screw it in and that's it. All right, that's the perfect measurements. See that? Okay, I'll be back. All right, here's the final result. All right, let's go put it inside. And I got some my washer, okay? Buy anywhere. Here it is. Now we're talking. Identical. Not bad. All right. This is a UAG monitor. I ran into a little problem. This is the uh, 21 and a half inch UAG. All right, um, this has no mount on the back, as you can see, put it carefully. So what I did is, I put Gruda glue. There is no way in hell you can take this out unless you literally had to break it. All right, that's what I did, measurement, 25, 26 or 25 inch, I forgot what was it. All right, let's put this on the, the back box. I line it up and uh, did my mount. See that? All right, I'll be back. So what I did is I line it up, as you can see. See that? All right. To make it perfect, there it is. There's my mark. I'm gonna do this, same thing on the other side. I'll be back. And I'll mark up the hole and drill the hole. Break a date. There it is. This is my dowel, my screw hole. That's how I mount it. No, no need L bracket. The best way to make it the cleanest possible. Here it is, boys. Nice and even. Now, I'll make the frame down here. Make the frame first. See this frame down here? I'll make it. Be right back. Okay, here's the frame for the DMD from the T speaker. It is, uh, I measured from right here. From right there, from the bottom of that monitor. It's almost, almost 12, almost a foot, 11 and, uh, and a quarter. See that, 11 and a quarter. And the, the wide the same, 26 uh, inch. 
Now I have, I'm landing a little problem. This little sensor right here, see this? All this buttons, I have to make a little gap. I'm gonna route it out. I mark my line. Where's the line at? Here it is. I'm gonna route it out to get easy access. I'll be back. All right, I made enough gap. Check it out. You see that? This is where all the, the menu option buttons, and this is the sensor for the remote. Let's turn power off and on. As you can see, I made a little gap right here. Okay, that's about it. Maybe I'm putting some filling here, cover it up. Who knows? Okay, I'll be back. All right, next up, speaker grill. Speakers, BMD slash um, backlash for the legend. This is the original monitor. Okay, what you want to do is try to align them dead center as much as possible and trace them out with a pencil. Okay, I'll be back with the results. Everything is aligned. And remember, guys, do not measure the speaker. You measure the grill. Okay, here's my result. There it is. Time to cut. Oh, excuse me. I'll be back. All right. I, I marked it. I have, this is the screw hole. So I made it so I can have my dead center to drill. Now I'm going to route this out. I'm going to cut this middle piece out. Put the monitor in. Alright, it is done. Now, I'm going to use this as a guide. I'm going to put it back in here. We'll find a half inch of wood. So you lay this on top. So you can start grinding again to balance it. You don't want to go like this, you know. Wiggling and then you'll be off. So you need another half inch of wood to support in here like about this far so you start grinding make it sm smoothing it out yeah not bad okay i'll be back check it out boys here it is nice little frame check it out all right be back all right check it out it's not perfect but you don't need to worry about all this little gap because the plexiglass and the artwork will cover everything. So nice and flush. Now, time to drill. Easiest part, because I already marked it. I'll be back. All right, I got them using a hole saw kit. So I'm just gonna take one, measure it. That's a little small, right? Okay, let's get a little bigger one. That's a perfect size. All right, a little bigger, right? That's it, just take it and measure it yourself and then drill it in. Make sure you drill halfway, you go the other side and drill the other side to make it smooth. It's on my um on my channel, tutorial video. So I'm not gonna record this. You gotta know the drill. All right guys, I just drill two drills for the screw. Everything fits perfectly. All right, now time to uh, paint it black and then uh, now we gotta be careful when you do the dowels. You gotta avoid this thin piece here. So I'm gonna customize it. I'm gonna put a dowel here. Now I'm gonna put a dowel here, screw here, and screw here. And uh you know, I'll you know, I'll be back. Okay, I customized my own hole. So this would be screw, dowel, dowel, screw. Same thing with the other side. What I did is I traced it, I lined it up, I marked it now. I'm put this on top, mark all the holes, just like I did the rest to make a custom mount. As you can see, you can see that, right? Right on the dot. So I'm, I'm gonna mark it and drill holes. I'll be back. As you can see, it's all done. So screw, dowel, dowel, screw. All right. All right, guys, it's done. Now it's time to put this on and test it first before we do anything else. Must test, okay? I'll be back. Now, I'm about to grind this in order for the EDD, EDD cables to be right in. So I'm gonna grind it down, make it flush, so I can put it in. So I'm gonna route this down a little bit. I'll be back. Here it is. Boys, check it out. EDD cable, easy access. Lots of room, right? Tape, locked down. Back to original spots. All right, let's put this to the test. Before I 
paint and everything do the rest of the steps all right boys check it out Look, not bad mm -hmm. look at the back look at this uh, see that let me gap got some holes all right next up speaker and painting looking good i'll match add the, the bracket first all right all right next step <clears throat> this is pretty thin now it all depend on your monitors this is the, a, a newer model so it's thin so you know it's built a frame right here to cover it up just cover this hole so i found a perfect measurement size this is the uh, back box legend okay this is where the key the lock is at i use this we got lucky same thickness as you can see same thickness of the monitor i'm gonna measure it i'm just gonna fit it in i am put gorilla glue in this and extra mount on the back see that see i cut it almost fit so i'm gonna do the same thing with this side and that's about it and then we'll just paint all black <clears throat> here's the result nice you see that very clean now I'll do this side be back all right next up guys i'm going to uh, marker this black I'm use a black permanent marker and the stock monitor i'm going to blacken it out all this corner right here i'll be back all right guys it's done now i'm put glue glue it's very light you don't need nothing you know to secure that hard so i'm gonna use gorilla glue here see this gorilla glue i'll put it on i'll be back all right guys i painted all black i went with the gloss gloss black black okay i painted everything and now um i just measured the plexiglass got it from Lowe's. the price went up it's about 20 something dollars for this big piece i measure exactly 26 inch across Cross 26 it's measure it and just cut it out. I cut it with this. It's all my tutorial video. I just cut it straight. I drew a line. Now it's sanding time. I'll be back. All right, next up, I'm gonna use the Ryobi sander. I'm gonna sand it down, chin it up where I, I marked it. Okay, I'm just gonna sand it. All my tutorial, not that hard. All right, check it out. It's not perfect, but good enough. Okay, now, I'm gonna mark the holes. Okay. Mark it. I'm gonna line it up. So get my pinpoint to drill it through. Okay? We back. Okay, I marked it. So I have exactly center. I'm gonna pre-drill a hole with a plexiglass. Right here. I'm gonna use this. Pre-drill the hole. And then I'll start drilling in for the speaker uh, hole. As you can see, I marked four corners. I drew a line to get my center point. I pre-drill the hole to get the leverage so it won't move. You see that? All right, I'll be back. Put it on and clamp and start drilling holes. All right, it's all marked. As you can see, all center, I drill a hole. I clamped it, I put a piece of wood. So that way, if we pressure down, it's just off. So this is a little bumper here, a little gap. All right, I'm gonna record a quick video, show you how to do it. So I have my tools here. So what I'm gonna do is fast speed. So I put it to the super fastest. You don't wanna go slow, you wanna go really fast, okay? Oh, I did lock it, okay. All right, really fast. I'll be back. Here's a video, I'm gonna record it, how to do this, the easy way. All right, are you legend pinball lover? Here it is. High speed, okay, very high speed. What you do is, you drill it, right? Light pressure, fastest. The reason why I'm, I'm telling you to do the fastest speed because you're gonna melt the plexiglass. So press it very lightly and let the plexiglass melt slightly when it, it's, at the same time it's melting, it's cutting. So that way you won't break your plexiglass. So the higher the speed, the plexiglass is gonna melt. So watch this, okay? I got my pinpoint right here. Gonna do it slowly. Let it go through. Oh shit! Okay, now. Slightly. 
Very fast. Now you feel the pressure, release it. You see that? You see how I just did it? Very fast. I will do the same thing over here. Okay. Uh, let's try to get this out, but find something small, poke it out. Never mind. Use my nail. There it is. There's the magic. Okay. You see that? Nice. Let me get my blower. 20 bucks, Facebook market, right? Very easy. I'm gonna do another one. Get the crumbs out. That way you won't scratch your plastic glass, right? Now you can see this corner over here, it's closer right here, right? Watch, watch me do it. So, I'm Light, let it melt. Now I'm out a little bit more pressure. Now you see it, now light, light pressure. Just let it melt, just let it melt by itself. It might go through, see that? I didn't put too much pressure. If I put pressure, I'll go boom, right on that, right through it. See that? So I'm gonna do the, the next one. Okay, let's put this up. I'm gonna pause the video, I'll be right back. I'm gonna set up another, the bigger one for the bigger speaker. All right, it's all done. I sand it down like this, okay? I smoothed it out. So that way, no crumbs, no bumps, no you know, no roughness. All right, let's put this on. Let's put it to the test. I'll be back. Okay, guys. Now, next up, making the back box lock and mount. So, this is my plan. I found a piece of plastic. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna sand it down, strain it up first for the um, the back box to stay in place. All right. Since already, everything's locked down, I don't want to take it back out. This here, I don't want to make it groove, so time B. I'll be back. You will know what I mean. All right, here's my back cover. Now, I measure, same thing. It's uh, 26 inch wide. Okay. Top and bottom is about 23 and something. You know, just measure, you don't measure. Now, I have spare. This is came from one up. I keep them all. The bottom cover for the um, for the yoke or the cover for the uh, control panel. I save this. So what am I gonna do is mm, I will make it an L. This is an L shape right here. I'm gonna cut this out, cut this out, and cut it half. So what I now, as you can see. I use the Ryobi sander, I sand it down to straighten it up, I just drew a line. So, I'm gonna use a black screw, I'm gonna screw here, and screw here. Before I do that, I'm gonna adjust my back uh, box cover. I'll be back. All right, here's the Legends lock. All right, as you can see, I'm gonna take it out. Once you take it out, you gotta remember how it goes, okay? You take it out, you put it right here, one, then two, then three, and then you put it back or go backwards. You get what I'm saying? You just gotta remember how it how it's mounted. All right, I'll be right back. Video just in case for you guys. Here it is. Put one out here. All right, exactly like this. You see that? And take this out. You see how I do it? One, two, three, and then you got three, two, one. And then uh, now you gotta take this out. It's hard to record with one hand. All right, just turn it out. Let's get it in. There it is, see that? You gotta get the picture. Pretty easy. Just turn it. All right, it's loose. Keep on turning until it's more loose. All right. All right look, like, look like it's loose, okay. Now, look. It's one, two, three, right? Now, four. It's a little ring, O ring right here. You know, sometimes it's good to have nails so to get it out right here. All right? And then you plier this out. 
Oh, I can use my nail my finger. See that? Goes right here. And the last piece. All right, here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You go backwards. <laughs> Excuse me. Now I'm gonna draw it out. Do the measurements. I'll be right back. Now I'm just gonna eyeball center, right? Right here. This is where the lock is. You don't wanna go up too high, up too low. You want it dead center. Where the line up right there. Just line it up like right there. Now I'm gonna draw it out. I'm gonna chase it. And then to determine, determine uh, where am I gonna drill it right here. See that? It's gonna look like that. You get what I'm saying? Be right back. Now, as you see, I can I marked it. So I wanna put this up here and trace it. See that? I'm gonna line it up, trace it, I'll be right back. There is the measure. Now I'm gonna use a router, router it out. Easy, simple. Be right back. I'm gonna use my OB router. I adjust it, it's adjustable. You adjust it just enough to go through. You know what I'm saying? See that? All right, I'll be back. You, you guys know the drill. I'm not gonna record myself routing this too much. The long will be to, the video will be longer. Check it out, boys. Huh? Look at this. Just put it in, see if it fits. Boom. See that? Now I'm mounting it on. Go to the next step. Check it out, boys. Let's look at the magic. See, there it is. See that? Look at that. Professional look. Look like it came out of the box. Does it look like I modify it or custom it? All right, now to determine, here's the next step. To determine, let me put this up so that we don't fall out, okay? To determine where I'm gonna mark it up here to make that's a perfect. See this part? See that? So I'm gonna mark it right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it with the with the key. I'm gonna put a glue. I'm gonna put a wet glue so I can mark it. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, next up, another L bracket. I measure this about under an inch. As you can see, it's about three quarter of an inch. So, this is gonna go right here. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So when you turn the key, when you turn the key, it locks right in right here. That's how I measure it. It's a perfect measurement. Right on the dot. See that? Right on the dot, right there. All right, now, I'll mount this. Like this, as you can see, I'm gonna mount it like this. That's where the lock goes underneath here. It's gonna stop it so you, you won't fall. You know what I'm saying? That's how you lock it. But I have to measure where is it exactly. I want it like pinpointed to like snug fit, not loose to, you know, not the backboard to be shaking. All right, I'll be back. Okay, next up. Found a perfect match. You see that? How you turn the lock? I'm gonna sand it down. It's a little too tight. Okay. I'm gonna measure this. I'm gonna cut it out. I'm gonna screw it in. I'll be back. As you can see, it's perfect. I, I, I put a screw. Now it's a little bump, it's a little higher. I'm gonna sand it down a little bit. Okay. It's like too, like too tight. You don't want it too tight. You get what I'm saying? So I'm gonna sand it down a little bit. See that? It fits, but you don't want it too tight. So I'm gonna sand down a little bit. Now, it's a perfect fit. You see that? That's where it's gonna hold it. You see that? I left like a hair, you can see like a hair. You see that? Like a hair away. Enough to go in and out smoothly. All right, now I'm gonna screw it in. Okay, I ran into a little problem. Now I have to sand this down in order to flush, flush this. You get it? Make it flush. So, so this we can go in a little deeper. 
You know what I'm saying? I'll be right back. Look at the magic, boys. You see that? Now it blends right in. See that? Just a, you know, a drill mill. Easy, simple, ain't that hard. I split to the test. Now, now you can see the picture, right? I'm gonna feed through the hole, put screws right here, put it right here. Enough gap to hold the back, the back box, the board, the cover, like that much. Then I'm gonna put this screw up a little high right there. I already pre-measure it. Let's line it up. It's enough gap to hold it. You don't need much, right? So I wanna make one more of this out of here. All right, duplicate it. L, long L. All right, check it out, boys. Look at the magic. Huh? It's gotta be creative. Look, this is the same. I cut the pieces out. Oh, yes, same thickness, right? Check this out. Nice and comfortable. See that? See what I mean? Okay, next up. I'm gonna duplicate the holes on top for the lock. I'll tell you what I mean right here. I'm gonna duplicate this. This is the hole, the lock hole, the lock where the hole part to lock up here. I'll make a custom lock mount. All right. I'm gonna trace it up first. I'll be right back. All right. I painted black, glossy black. There it is. Oh no, it's a gloss. This is the wrong one. But well, it's a glossy one. Where's it at? Gloss. See that? And shine, I had to put three coats to make it this shine. Three layers of coat. All right, here's the lock. It is done. Professional look. Let's put it to the test. I'll be back. Check it out. You see that? This is clean, very clean. All you do is lift it up. There's the magic. I put the tape to cover the light bleed, just in case. Right. It is done. Waiting for artwork. To die for UAG. All right, next up, <clears throat> wood pads. All right, I'm gonna cover all the screw holes. When you apply the artwork, you won't you won't leave any bumps or notice there's screws on the side. So I'm gonna use this. A few dollars, they're cheap, and this. All right, I'll patch it. Once you patch it, let it dry it and sand it down. Let it dry, sand it down. And uh, artwork is next. And I'll show how to uh, apply the bezel. That's the, the hardest part. Okay, I'll be back. All right, next up, touch the glass. It's all clean. I use glass cleaner. cleaner. All right, it's time to put this baby on. Be right back. All right, next up, guys. <clears throat> I put my plexiglass up here. I marked it where the monitor is at. You see that? I marked it. That's where you're gonna put the, the bezel artwork. You line it up. So that way you get the right on point. Same here with the DMD. You gotta mark it. Where's the monitor, the LCD screen. See that? All four corners and the rest to put the artwork on top and just measure it. I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. I'll be right back. Okay, here's the artwork. And um, what I like to do is I like to use the plexiglass so I can see through it, line it up, and slice it out, the artwork. So I get all the white piece, slice all that out. See all that? I'll be back. So I'm gonna put it up here. <coughs> As you can see, you can line it up more accurate, one more 100% to cut it. So that way you won't miss any spot or 
missing your artwork. You, you slice it with a, a point. So just a razor. So I'm gonna slice it out. Nice little video. You gotta get the picture. Line it up, slice, 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 all the white, slice. All right, I'll be back. Another thing, quick thing. I forgot to mention, when you mark it, mark it slightly underneath so you can put over it so that way you won't see the black marker. But it's an easy fix. If you messed up, you can use your hand and rub it, it'll come right out anyway, so, okay? Make sure everything's like, like a tiny bit underneath to so put the artwork over it. Just a tiny right here, a tenth, a tenth of a centimeter. So you put the art over it so you won't see the, the black marker. All right, I already cut it out. There it is. So no bezel on the top because it's flush. See that? No bezel on the top. Right, let's, put it, let's put this to the test. Now, as you can see, see where I marked it? It's right there. This is a little off. You see that? I'll measure it. I'm going to eyeball it. I'm just going to slice it down a little bit and slice it all the way. This is where the monitor. See this? It's a little off, but it's good. Top is perfect. This is not perfect. Right here. So this is my pinpoint right here. My pinpoint right here. So I'm going to slice it through. And then my pinpoint right here, the line is which is perfect right here. See this monitor? Bottom monitor, DMD. So from that, that dot to that dot, I'm gonna measure from the top, right? Like this, with a ruler. Now, where's my ruler? I'll be back. So let's measure with a ruler. So, I'm gonna use this. It's about... I'm gonna use this line as my guide is more... It's about a quarter of an inch. You see that? Off. So I'm gonna cut it a quarter of an inch. Top, same thing. All the way up. It is about maybe from the line a little over a quarter of an inch. You gotta get the picture. So I'm gonna mark it. I'm gonna mark it, mark it from behind on the back. I'm gonna flip it upside down, mark it and start slicing it up. Okay? Right here too. It's a little off. So here's a leftover piece. I'm gonna slice this with a razor. I'm gonna slice it down. This is my guide for the artwork. This is the plexiglass right here. Okay? And I mark this back make sure it's in it's in the correct direction and you flip it upside down put it back on everything's gonna be off so i marked it right in the center so you can't see it because our words gonna go on top of it so you can't see it when well, i marked it back and up so this is the back all right all right so i'm gonna slice this and i'm gonna slice this and then we'll put it on go to the next step all right pretty easy now this is the important part to where you want to adjust, how you want your artwork. See the top piece? I don't need this. So I lower my plexiglass down, so I slice this out. See that, the little gap? So I have a full artwork on the bottom to cover it up. So that way, if I, if I move this plexiglass up to match up there, I'm gonna miss this Infinity Quest. So I move it down, right? Now all I have to do is slice that up and uh, do the measurement for the rest of the, see how I slice all that? See that? Yeah, I'll be back. All right, take it out, all lined up. I'm gonna slice here and slice all the way and slice. Same thing here. Slice, slice. Will be a perfect measurement. You see how awful that is? I like it when it's off. I, I can cut it in more perfection. I like it like this. If it's too perfect, you can't see the adjustment or you can't, you know, or it's, it's even harder to cut. So, like I say, I'm gonna use the plexiglass, line it up, slice, slice, slice. I'll be back. All right, boys. Check it out. Not bad. Perfect measurements. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do the wet method and how to apply this on the easy way. I'll be back. Okay, it is dry. Now I'm gonna trim out all the little leftover. And I'm gonna speak a hole, right? And poke the little hole for the screws. Simple. I don't need to show no video for this. It's too easy. All right, simple razor. All right, next up, 
I hate the corner. As you can see, I tape it. I line it up as straight as possible. I tape it so it won't, you know, move around. I tape it halfway. I like to use wet method. So what you do is you pull water this much, room temperature, or slightly warm with a couple of drop of dish soap. You know, let's mix it up. Now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel these out. I'm gonna cut it halfway. Okay. So I don't know if you can see this, but uh, you gotta get the idea. Pull this artwork out. Make sure you make sure you clean the plexiglass with window cleaner. Got it off um, Costco. So carefully peel this out. Make sure it doesn't rip anywhere, right? Let's go halfway. Hold this. One. As you can see, just take your time, no rush, because you're talking about the bezel here. Once you get it straight, then you can pull everything out. Hold it steady, just like that. Line it up. I marked with a tape. That's how far it's gonna go, halfway. A little more. Right there. Let's be careful over here. Wet method is the best. I've been using that for years now. A couple of years. Especially on plexiglass. If you messed up, you have time to move it around. So what you do is cut this piece out. All right? Show you a quick tutorial how to apply bezel. Now, just a corner water here. That's where that's where it's gonna be at, right? Right here. There, maybe a little there. A little mist. Now we'll move this camera over here a little bit so you can see better. How I'm gonna do it. How do I adjust it? Slip up to side corner. Alright, line it up. No, see, time to adjust. You lift it up, if it's not perfect, you can adjust it, see, easy. Once, once you get it locked in, you're good to go. You know, wet method is the best. I forgot, I forgot to put it over here. You gotta miss a spot over here with the speakers. The speakers, let's put on the speakers. All right. That's a little rag. That part's gonna be cut out. A little more over here. A little wet. Just in case it messed up. Easy to adjust. Looks like a little off here. Let's try to pull this out a bit. So you can put the water soak in a little bit. See, I miss a spot. Look, uh, luckily there's some water running in. Wet method is the best, guys. Okay, need some more water here. Now it's time to adjust for the perfect alignment. Right, right there. You know, sometimes you can't get it perfect the way you want it, but you don't have a choice. As you know what I'm saying? Now just line it up. It's a little off. Looks good, looks good. That's what I like about wet method. Stretch it out a little bit. The way you want it. Good. Now just line it up straight as you can. A little off there. Just lift it up, adjust it. Alright, looks good, right? Now where's my little squeegee at? I have my squeegee here, squeegee here somewhere. Ah, I'll be right back. Water out. 
get dry. You want it to get dry. Squeeze it out. Water. Oh, you gotta get the idea, right? Right? You gotta water. You gotta bubble water as much as you can. Now, you know, this is uh, the hardest part of all, especially when you do the measurements. You got to pinpoint it, especially with a plexiglass. It's the perfect measurements, all right? Okay. Look, you look at the angle on the side, see what you're missing. See that? More water coming out. All right, I'll finish this side. I'll, uh, I'll do the other side, not record the other side. Same thing. Okay, you gotta get the idea. All right, next up, I'll put in double-side clear tape. This is heavy duty, very sturdy. Once it's on, it's on, you're done. So what I'm gonna do is, I'll put a little piece right here, right? All the way down to here, the four corner, some in the center, right here, back. I'll be back, show you guys uh, the result when I put it on. all done what i recommend is use a tweezer to peel this out okay tweeze it out there's no way in hell you can use your fingernail it takes it forever your best bet use a tweezer peel it out all right i'll be back all right take it out ignore the mess no need right because the speaker grill and speaker is going to cover all this mess so doesn't matter all right time to Put it on, all right? All right, as you can see, it's nice and clear tape. You see that? It will be hidden anyways from the artwork, so you won't be able to see it. All right, I'm gonna put it on. We'll be right back. All right, guys, I'll make a quick tutorial video. I'll show you one of my tips and tricks that nobody knows about. See this? If I were you, uh, get the Gorilla one. They have a Gorilla version, but I don't want to waste this. It still sticks. So I tape it down, I line it up, how I want it, okay? Now I'm gonna peel it out and cut it. You know how um, the artwork always peels out on the, on the edges? I found an easy fix. Even though you didn't, you didn't apply it on before and it peels out, you can still apply it on and use a uh, paint tape to tape it over to let it dry it out, all right? Make sure, this one, no wet method needed on this one, okay? Because it's wood, wood and water don't get along. You gotta know, you gotta know the drill. So if this was a melamine, yes, you can use the wet method. All right, it's pretty easy, simple. So what I do before I apply the artwork, right? I'm gonna use this. Put in the edges, a little bit on the edges, right here. So the artwork won't peel out. You know, this is enough. Right? I'm gonna smear it out, smoothly, smoothing it with your finger. Wipe it, that's it. And apply it on. Let me get my squeak. Never use this side, use this one, okay? The soft side. Let me spill it out again. I use leftover uh, vinyl artwork. Just, you know, put it down. That's about it. Boom. That's it. Now I'm gonna do this side, I'm gonna peel this one out. Everything's already aligned, all right? I'm gonna do the same thing. This side, I cover all the screw holes, as you can see, with the wood filling. Same thing. This is called uh, Bond All-Purpose Glue Stick. But get Gorilla Glue is best. The Gorilla Glue stick, same thing as this. They have it everywhere. Amazon, Home Depot, you name it, it's all over the place. It's not that hard to find. All right, if you see some thickness, some white, just wipe it out with your hand. All right, that's good. This will prevent peeling off. 
the hull work. So what you do is, I'm gonna lift it up really high. I'm not left-handed, but I'm gonna try my left hand. Lift it up high, scroll right through it. Make sure you clean everything. There's no dust, debris, hairs, you know. All right, that's it. Now, what you do next, you trim it out. Where's my razor at? What you do is you use your finger, you crease it. Must be finger only. You crease the edges, okay? You crease all the edges. Fingers only. All right? And then you just start slicing it out. All right? All the leftover. All the leftover work. See? This, you know, as you can see, you see that? Just follow along. All right? Now we have to show this video. The video is already long enough. So I'm gonna crease it. Do it again. It's easy, simple. Just take your time, there's no rush. This is for you. UAG. Alright, after this, yeah. It's easy. Let's go back and fix all the, the edges. With whichever part you're missing. It's very easy. Not that hard. Alright, let's fix it up. Make it perfect. Line it up. Looks beautiful. This is gonna be looking sick. UAG. UAG. My boy UAG. Your baby's coming home soon. Okay? Right? See all the little edges right here? The little round one. Squeeze it. See the line. Just follow it. Go with it. Don't go against it. Alright? You don't wanna slice up, slice down. Right, you slice up, the art doesn't go up. All right, that's it. I'm gonna do the other side, and uh, after that will be the molding. I'll show you. I use the same exact thing as uh, Legends molding. Same exact kind of difference. Here's the magic. Okay, I'll do the other side. I'll be back. All right, guys, the final product. For my boy UAG, hope you like it, buddy. Nice chrome. I had a little problem. I had to use super glue. It doesn't stay too well, so yeah, I used super glue on this. Okay, for the molding. Same as at game style. To die for.